So to get this bodysuit started, we're going to take our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 4 millimeter hook, and we're going to connect it to our yarn. Before we start making our chain, we're going to need to measure out an inch underneath our chest, and then whatever measurement that is, you're going to add an inch. So for example, I have 9 inches, so I'm going to make a chain that comes out to 10. Once we have our chain, we're going to want to figure out where the middle is and put in our marker. And then once we have that, we're going to block off the last chain. Chain up three, this counts as a double crochet. Prepare for a double crochet. And double crochet once into that loop that we blocked off with our thumb or the fourth chain from the hook. And we're going to do one double crochet into every chain that we have until we get to that middle marker that we put in. Once we double crochet until we got to our marker, we're going to take that out. Then we're going to do an increase of three into that middle loop. So prepare for double crochet and do three double crochets into that middle loop. And once we have that, we're going to continue putting one double crochet into every loop that we have going back down the rest of our chain. So this is what we should have once when our first row is done. We're going to start working on the second row now. So we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet, flip our work. And on each ends, we're going to be putting decreases. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, go into the first loop, yarn over, pull through. We're going to go into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then from here, we're going to continue doing double crochets until we get to this middle point where we did the increase of three. Once we get to the middle, we're going to do another increase of three, but I'll show you how to do that once we get there. So I made it to the middle and this is our increase of three. We're going to put one more increase of three into the middle of this. So into the first one, double crochet into the second, three double crochet into that second loop. And then from here, we're going to double crochet once into every loop going back down, leaving the last three loops because we're going to do another decrease. So we made it all the way to the end and we left the last three loops like I said. So we're going to put a decrease into the next two loops. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through into the next loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, and that is our decrease. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the very last loop. And from here, I'll be switching up my colors, but the pattern will maintain the same of doing decreases on the ends and then an increase of three in the middle. So to introduce our next color, we're just going to grab it, insert it onto our hook, pull that through, and then we're going to cut our first color and then tie the two tail ends together. And then from here, Chain up three, counts as a double crochet, flip your work, prepare for a double crochet, then put a decrease into the first two loops. And we're going to keep doing this pattern until you get the length that you need, until it gets as low as you need for the bottoms. Mine is going to be nine inches. And then a quick tip, if you are blessed with hips and y'all need this to start expanding after a couple rows, just don't do the double crochets on the ends and then it'll start expanding for you. So once when I have my nine inches, this is what I have. And from here, we're just going to do a single border around the entire thing. So we're going to introduce our border color. Mine is going to be this white. Insert it onto our hook. And then we're going to cut the color that we were just working with so that we just have the white. And then we're going to do single crochets into everything that we have. So we're going to tie the two tail ends together, chain up one, flip our work. Then we're going to put one single crochet into every loop that we have, maintaining the increase of three into this corner. And once we get to the sides, we're going to be putting two single crochet into each of these side double crochet. And once we get here, one single crochet into every loop, and we're going to do a decrease of three into this middle section. And then once we get to the end, chain up one and cut. So once we're done doing the border, we're going to need to work on the top bandeau portion. And this is going to require a little bit of math. So how we're going to do that is measure underneath our bust. I measured mine and mine is 17 and a half inches. And how we're going to get these sides, we're going to start off by measuring this middle portion. Mine is eight and a half. We're going to take the measurement underneath our bust and subtract it with whatever number you have in the middle. And then we're going to take that number and divide that by two. And then that is going to be how many inches you need to do on the outside of these V's. So now we're going to start doing the bottom. We're going to take our border color, make a slip knot take our yarn and then whatever number we have on the outside we're going to make a chain that equals to that amount mine is four and a half inches so i'm going to just make four and a half inches and then once we have our outside chain we're going to connect this with this corner so all you're going to do is insert your hook into the corner loop connect it with a slip stitch and chain up one to secure and from here you're going to make a chain from one end to the other end of the v and then connect that with a slip stitch too 
And then once when we slip stitched into this side, we're going to continue doing the rest of the chain, making sure that it's the same size as this side over here. And once you're done, go ahead and cut and tie. Well, once we have this chain that goes across our entire pattern, now we're going to start doing the bandeau portion, and this is just going to be rows of double crochet as high as you need it to be. So we're going to go back to our color, make a slip knot, insert it onto our hook, and from here we're going to chain up three, prepare for a double crochet, and double crochet once into every loop that we have, and we're going to keep going until we get the length that we need, and I will be interchanging my colors as well. So I have finished doing my bandeau portion. We are going to ignore this side for a second because we are about to do this on the other side. But just as a reference, I have 11 rows or almost four and a half inches. And then now we need to start working on the side panels. So from here, we're going to turn our work, insert our hook into one of these corners, grab our yarn, and then we're just going to be putting two single crochet into each of these side double crochets that we have. And we're gonna do that once all the way down. Once we have our row of single crochet, now we're going to be working on our row of net so that we can tie in our back tie. So from here, we're going to chain up five. The first three count as a double crochet. Flip your work, prepare for a double crochet, count out three loops, insert your hook into that third loop with a double crochet. And that is our first net. Let's do this one more time just as a refresher. Chain two, prepare for a double crochet, count out three loops, double crochet into that third loop. And then keep doing this all the way down. Once we have our row of net, we're going to do one row of single crochet on top just to make it more sturdy. So we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every loop that we have. Once we get all the way down, go ahead and chain up one and cut, and then we're going to do it to the second side. So this is what things are looking like once when we have both of these side panels done, and the last thing that we have to do for the bandeau is just do one row of single crochet going across the entire top as a border. So go ahead and grab your border color, make a slip knot, insert your hook into one of these corners. And we're going to pull through, chain up one to secure, and then we're just going to be putting single crochet all the way across. Once we get to the other side, go ahead and chain up one and cut. So this is our bodysuit so far. This is the bandeau, obviously. Let me slide it on up, and then this is the body portion. And then next, we are going to do the connector that'll connect the front to the back. And from here, I already went ahead and marked off where I wanted to start. All I did was took a measuring tape and then went from one corner and then I measured up two and a half inches and then I put in my markers. And since this is the front, this can be smaller, but once when I show you how to do the back, if you want the more full coverage, I'll show you how to do that too. But since we're here, I'm going to take one marker out, insert my hook, grab the color that I want to use as the connector, make a slip knot, insert that onto the hook, and from here, as you can see, this comes to a point before we start doing anything, we're going to want to even all this out. So from here, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet, and we are going to start doing decreases already. So into the first loop, we are going to do one decrease. So go ahead and yarn over, prepare for a double crochet, insert your hook into your first loop, yarn over, pull through, go into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And there's our first decrease. And then this is going to be different for everyone depending on how far out or close in that you start it. But I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. But this is mine. And then from here, I'm going to do two double crochet, three half double crochet, and then four single crochet. And then as you can see, I've met at the middle. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here, but on the other side, going the reverse way. So four single crochet, three half double, two double crochet, one decrease, and then one double crochet. So this is what I have once when I have my first row done, and I'm not done evening out yet. I'm actually gonna do two more rows. So for the next one, for mine, I'm going to chain up two, flip our work, prepare for a half double crochet, and then I'm gonna be decreasing into the first two loops with a half double crochet. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook into the first loop, yarn over pull through into the second loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through everything on your loop and then from here I'm going to be doing three half double crochets and then five single crochets until I get to the point and then once when I get here I'm going to be doing the same thing but in reverse so one more time five single crochet three half double crochet one decrease half double crochet and then a half double crochet at the end we are super duper close to having an even bottom but we're not there yet so we're going to do one more evening out row so we're going to chain up two, flip our work, do a decrease half double crochet into the first two loops. So prepare for a double crochet, insert your hook into the first loop, yarn over, pull through, into the second loop, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over pull through everything on our hook one half double crochet and then five single crochet that five single crochet will take us to the middle and do the same set but in reverse so five single crochet one half double crochet a decrease half double crochet and then one half double crochet at the end and then that should even everything out for us and then once when we have these three rows everything should be flat so for the next few rows we're just going to be doing decreases into the ends with single crochets so chain up one flip our work and then we're going to be decreasing into the first two loops so go ahead and insert your hook yarn over pull through into the second loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and we're going to single crochet all the way down leaving the last two loops because we're going to do another decrease in there and we have two loops left like i said so we're going to insert our hook in through the first loop yarn over pull through and through the last loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and that is our decrease and i'm going to keep doing this until i have a total of seven rows including these first few rows that we did while maintaining the decreases on both sides so i have my total of seven rows and this is the size that i want so that i can connect it to the back and from here i'm just going to do rows of single crochet until i get a total of two inches so we're just going to chain up one flip our work and put one single crochet into every loop that we have once we get to the end chain up one and then work our way back and then like i said i'm going to keep going until i get two inches but you guys can keep going until you get whatever size that you need and once we have our two inches all we're going to do is chain up one and cut and this is the entirety of the front that we have so far so we have the connecting piece body and then the bandeau and then the last thing that we have to work on is the back piece and the back piece is basically going to be exactly the same as the front just a little bit shorter so to get started on the back just like before we're going to measure our lower back or mid back however high you want it to come up and then we're going to measure it out and then we're going to add an inch so just as an example i have nine inches so i'm going to chain out 10 inches once when i have my chain i'm going to block off that last chain chain up three this counts as a double crochet prepare for a double crochet i'm going to double crochet once into every loop that we have until we get to the middle point you can go ahead and count that out or measure however you like to do it but i already have my middle marker in here i'm going to double crochet until i get here and then we're going to do an increase of three and i'll show you how to do that once when we get there now we've made it to the middle loop we're going to take out a marker and we're going to do an increase of three so we're going to be putting three double crochet into that middle loop and then once we have that increase we're going to continue going down the rest of our chain putting one double crochet into every loop so this is our first row to start off the back and then this is exactly like the front as i said so i'm just going to do a super quick refresher we're going to chain up three this counts as a double crochet flip your work prepare for a double crochet and we're going to be decreasing into the first two loops so insert your hook into the first loop yarn over pull through into the second loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and then we will be double crocheting all the way until we get to the middle of our increase of three do another increase of three double crochet down leaving the last three loops and then we're going to do a decrease and then a double crochet into the last loop and then same thing if you need to expand it at any point then you can go ahead and continue doing the same pattern but don't include the decreases on the ends so that it can expand and i will be alternating my colors as well and i'm going to keep going until i have a total of three and a half inches so this is what i have once when i have my back and mine is significantly smaller but this is the size that i wanted but the next thing that we have to do from here is do a border around the entire thing just like how we did with the other piece so all we're going to do is take our hook insert it into a corner take our border color insert it onto the hook pull through chain up one to secure and then we're just going to be doing single crochets around the entire thing so we're going to be putting one single crochet into every loop once when we get to this section we're going to be doing a decrease of three and then single crochet once when we get to these side double crochets we're going to be putting two single crochet into each of these side double crochets and then once when we get to this point we are going to maintain the increase of three at the end and then once we make it all the way back around connect with a slip stitch so this is what we got once we were finished doing our border all the way around as you can see i've already marked off where i want my bottoms to start and these are going to be very cheeky and like i said earlier if you want them to be not as cheeky you don't have to start two and a half inches from the point you can extend this out as much as you want to but from here you are going to have to figure out the decreasing rows just to even out this point on your own but for me mine is going to be exactly the same as the front so i will leave a timestamp in the description on how to do this again but i'm going to do this and then i will meet you back once when i have that done so once we have both of our connectors done now we're going to connect them so all we're going to do from here we're going to sandwich our pieces together 
insert your hook into the second bottom connector since we're already in the first one and then all we're going to do is do a single crochet through both so for the first one we're just going to pull through and chain up one to secure and then from here we're going to insert our hook in through the first loop we're going to insert our hook in through the second loop from the second piece that we have and then we're going to single crochet and then we're going to do this all the way down once we have that cut and tie once we've connected the front and the back one of the last things that we have to do is make a row of net on the back piece and the front piece so that we're able to tie the bottoms together and i like to start on the back piece so once when i'm done with the row of net that i have i know how many rows of net i need to do for the front piece so with that being said we're going to insert our hook into this side corner insert our yarn onto our hook and from here we're going to chain up five the first three count as a double crochet we're going to prepare for a double crochet count out three loops insert your hook into the third loop with a double crochet this is exactly like how we did the bandeau so one more time chain two prepare for a double crochet count out three loops double crochet into that third loop and we're going to keep doing this all the way down and once we're done with our first row of net we are going to chain up one flip our work and we're going to be doing one row of single crochet all the way down so just put one single crochet into every loop that we have once we get to the end go ahead and chain up one and cut and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the bottoms and then from there we're going to count out how many loops that we have and then we're going to make sure that we do the same amount of loops for the front piece so this is what the bodysuit is looking like once we finish doing in the side ties and one of the last things that we have to do other than weaving in our ends is making a chain that's long enough to weave in and out of all of these loops that we have so we're going to need to make three chains i'm going to make two for the sides and those are going to be 30 inches and then the one that i'm going to be doing for the bandeau is going to be 45 inches and this is the finished bodysuit I do have a video on this wrap on the channel as well, and I will link that in the description. This one was definitely a labor of love, and I hope y'all love this as much as I do. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, and if you don't, go ahead and give this video a thumbs down so I know what y'all are liking. And leave a comment down below on how you'd switch up this bodysuit, or y'all can always sub. But either way, thank y'all for watching, and if y'all got any questions about the hooks or the yarns, use those links in the description, and I'll get a little kickback. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.